A long time ago, somebody said, if you want change to happen, you need to make sure that you're answering the question, what's in it for them? I like that they take that to a fundamentally different level, or maybe we've just forgotten the basic principle and need to re-interject it in our transformation efforts. As leaders, we ask people to change for us, for the mission, for the company. But with the turnover rates today and with the lack of employee engagement that we have, nobody is going to fundamentally re-engineer their DNA and change their behavior for a company. People, as we've talked about, change behaviors for other people. People change behaviors for something they feel passionate about. All too often, very few companies have missions that their own employees feel fundamentally passionate enough to motivate the kind of improvement that's necessary for strategic change. As a result, we need to begin to think about more directly, what is the personal motivation? When we're coaching groups or constituencies to change behavior, we typically are trying to identify what about the change, first and foremost, is going to make their job easier, more successful, better. But them personally, not for the sake of the business, but for sake of them. At one particularly large automotive company, I remember that the role of the district manager, a crucial role in transforming the customer experience at dealerships, the role of the district manager had relegated down to that of a, an auditor, a checklist person showing up with resentment from the dealership. But instead, what would it be like if you showed up at the dealership as a partner? Somebody that, was, that embraced you, that looked forward to you coming. So an individual where the relationship was strong, your value was even stronger, and together and collectively, you were transforming the customer experience. That lights people up. And at that same automotive company, I remember one year later when we had coached those district managers on to be better trusted advisors, better coaches, better individuals that showed up and were, were in service of the dealerships and in service of the customer. One of the district managers who had been involved in the early pilot sat in front of his peers, 2,000 of them, at the annual meeting. And when asked the question, what was the greatest change that you've witnessed in this coaching and training that you've gone through for the past year? And he got choked up. And while his other peers were talking about the transformation of the business, the transformation of the market share, transformation of the customer relationship, he got choked up and he said, you know, in the last year, I've learned more about myself as a coach that I now am a better spouse. What's in it for them? People have to change for themselves. We've got to hook the change to showing up not only as better professionals, but better people. The workplace is a place for evolution. And change and transformation of the business and of the strategy is a place for change and transformation of the human. Let's hook these change initiatives to something much bigger, something that matters to each of us as individuals.